<laughs> it actually does move, doesn't it? <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And let me tell you, I've got a special for you. Finally, track down Fiat Uno Turbo. And we've got Ants over here. Hi, how you doing, man? You right? I'm alright. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your company, Auto Sportivo. Auto Sportivo. What started as a passion has turned into a business. This is actually the create. Thanks. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Yeah, the Uno Turbo, my Uno Turbo. I've had it eight years. It's been in a couple of magazines, Modern Classics, Auto Dahlia. It's basically what opened the doors to Auto Sportivo. When I was building this car, I had no money, couldn't even put five pounds of petrol in um, my car. It's like going through my pockets looking yeah, at yeah. change. And I just thought, why am I doing this? I had this place, couldn't afford bills, and it was hard, real struggle. Nearly sold it, but something told me, no, Ant, you've got to keep going. Just keep going with it. So I kept going with it and I finished it. And when I finished it, I was um, walking through town, WH Smith's, and I saw Modern Classics magazine, picked it up, was looking through it, and at the back it said, what your readers drive. And I was like, oh, okay. I emailed them. The editor of the magazine, Nathan, emailed me back, asked me for my phone number. And within two weeks, they came down here, done a massive spread on their magazine, and the rest is history. I'm so humble and grateful to that magazine. If it wasn't for Nathan and Modern Classics, I probably wouldn't have achieved, you know, what I have today, because they saw the passion that I had. So yeah, my hat goes off to them guys. Uh, and as I said to you off camera, it's probably more you, yourself and your story, right? That's it. Cool story. Um, people come here, they see my passion for the cars. They seem to like me, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well, and You've um, got some sick cars. Like obviously we've got the Uno Turbo here guys, but he's got a Ferrari over here, Challenge. He's got another Fiat Uno. You've got Uno Turbo and something very special. Yeah, Integrali, like. yeah. Let's, let's quickly show you guys, yeah? Look at that. It's the first time I've been up close to one of these and that, it just takes your breath away almost and this is a low miler 35k only 35,000 miles yeah, yeah. So and worth some big dough uh is it <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um yeah no. evo evo one and um again i'd never sell it it's yeah. one of my childhood dream cars and i'm just humble and lucky enough to be able to own one so yeah man i've got memories of uh being very young no license one of my friends we went to go pick up one of these same color but sure i remember there being like a red pinstripe but i remember this thing being so fast as he put his foot down the the front lifted and the wind actually took it to the side so we was in the middle lane i don't know it might have just been young and just silly but yeah i remember them being fast so these are what uh, about a thousand nine hundred kilos you say about eight ten eight hundred kilos they're really light honest they're not the comfortable as cars to take on a long journey don't yeah. do that mm -hmm. but around town and you know for a quick blitz up and down yeah. it's like nothing nothing nothing, nothing. Then boom like and Renault 5 almost yeah, that's it same yeah, same yeah, as same. Renault 5 but this is injection, Renault 5 was carburetors. So what are the specs? 1.3 turbo? 1.3 IHI turbo charge, fuel injection, no driver aids. No Nothing. driver aids, no power steering, no ABS. I've done some mods to the engine when I rebuilt it. They're quick enough yeah. and um, you can appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, so like you're saying, so on throttle it kind of, it oh. still feels a bit turbo, yeah. old school vibes. That's it. Let's have a look, look in the interior, you go, oh my God, look at the handles. <laughs> Oh my God, look at the condition. And you can see there, see, so it's a short shifter as well, yeah? Five speed. I love the little orange needles, the clocks. My, oh wow, cool. yeah, yeah. And then the, awesome, the Italians it? decided the only one that should be facing you is the turbocharger needle, <laughs> the turbo boost. Wait, that looks sick, <laughs> doesn't it? What was the power? I haven't even asked you what the power was. On this? Yeah. This one's probably running about 140, 150. On paper, on standards, like 113, 114. Right. What would you put the value on something like this now? Someone offered me 17 and a half, and I said no. Wow. But to me, it's more sentimental. Um, I'll show you this, actually, while you're there. Oh yes, 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 the magazine features. Mm, yeah, that was up. a proud moment. Should we jump out the Nance? See what she's like, hit the road. Let's do it. Yeah, let's mm. do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we've got Man Like Ants. Hello. <laughs> Are you ready? Well, we're taking it back old school, yo. Okay. <laughs> Wait, the driving position is crazy, man. You'll feel, <laughs> you'll feel every crack in the road it's not it's not comfortable it's like a do you know what it's like a go-kart mate this is unbelievable i don't know if you can see it from there the turbo gauge needle so you <laughs> <laughs> it's like i can put my hand at the end of the headlight from here as that feels but the the, the windscreen really comes down 
the only re way I can explain it is like being in a, a baked bean tin can <laughs> <laughs> with a turbocharger strapped to it. It's so reliant on that turbo, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, considering like the, the box standard ones of these, what were they, like 50 brake or something? Yeah, about that. <laughs> and you say that you've done work to the engine, was that to make it a little bit more reliable or? No, just to, just so it runs a bit better, a little yeah. bit more power. I want to keep it obviously reliable because back in the day, people would just get a bleed valve, stick it up to like 1.5 bar boost and then blow them up. This one is only running half. So it's not even running at one bar, it's just running probably 0.5. The only needle I watch is the turbo one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, and temperature, because these things, they overheat. Oh, okay. Old Italian cars. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the thing with these. Yeah. Like oh, the Alphas as well, because you've got yeah. the GTA there as well. Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> being grabbed and thrown down the road uh, the pickup is really effortless i think i, I did read one of them depending on the spec because you could get a sunroof couldn't you oh yeah well. stay away from them ones stay they, away yeah. they rot bad okay um, a lot of people cut them out and just put a normal roof back in and then they leak the water you can't stop water from coming through yeah yeah terrible that wheel looks like you'd find it on a renault 5 doesn't it yeah so retro so so cool and mm. you still get electric windows all oh, right yeah, rubbish yeah. yours yeah. don't work yeah. <laughs> no, it does. Oh, God. So you would say, like, say for a lot of the Italian cars of this era, were they, like, temperamental? Like... Yeah, majorly. Yeah. Yeah, all this generation of Italian cars, they were known for, like, bad electrics. Bad electrics. And um, overheating. Yeah. And rusting. That's why I don't think there's many left of these, because they all rotted away on Saturday, and I went to that car show, mm. and I took this. On the way back, the M25 was coming to a halt, and I was like, oh no. And I, my palms oh. started going sweaty. I'm thinking I'm gonna be in traffic and this. Yeah. I was like, please, play. do you know what? It didn't miss a beat, it was fine. It's fine, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon that's because of the work you had done to it or? Yeah, I reckon so. It's all new, the rads are new. Yeah. It was fine, didn't overheat, nothing. I can't believe it says 160 on that speed. <laughs> no, I know. <laughs> Right, so guys, going to end the video there. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And uh, Ant, do you want to put me plug where people can find you? You've got a mark there from the POV cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's uh, all you good. can find us on Instagram, Autosportivo Bedford. And I've just got a huge channel. It's just oh. small, it's growing, um, Autosportivo. And you, you can actually check out our restoration projects on there. Mm -hmm. um, we restore quite a few cars and they're quite funny they're quite you know you see what we do behind the scenes so yeah. watch that if you want to watch that mate we need to get out in the integrality one million percent guys we'll get we need out. to see likes we need plenty of likes and subscribers to uh, your channel as well yeah yeah i'll leave all your links in the description thank you thanks for the invite it's all right anytime Can't slow me down like speed hum no keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life fast see your girl she's in my car mm. oh well that's your girl in my hotel that's five stars yeah. make the rules yeah. disappear